Good morning, students. Welcome to Campus TV. Today we will talk about Primary One, Book 1D, Chapter 16, Hong Kong Cons. Do you know how many kinds of cons used in Hong Kong? Let's count. Yes. There are seven kinds of cones used in Hong Kong. So now we will talk about their values and characteristics. Please look at this table. Do you know their values? Can you tell their values? So we have to look at the number on the cones to tell the values. The number is talking about the values, so the coins on our left, they are all dollar coin. So the first one, you see number 10 on the coins. So it is a $10 coin. Good job. How about the next one? You see a number five on the coins. So it is a, yes. $5 coin. How about the next one? You see a number two. So it is a $2 coin. Well done. It's quite easy. How about the last dollar coin? As you see, there is a number one. So it should be a $1 con. Good job. The cons we left, we call them as cents. C E N T cent. So we tell their values by looking at the numbers on them. For example, this one, we see 50. We see 50. So it is a 50 cent con. The next one, yes, it is a 20 cent coin. And the last one, you see number 10 on the coins. So it is a 10 cent coin. Good job. Now let me show you. Every coin, they have two phrases. So the first phase I just showed you is uh, there are some numbers on it to tell us the values. And when you turn at the back, you will see another face. So now we have to match the face. The first one is a $10, which answer is matching. Yes. Ding, ding. You can see we match the color and we match the shape. How about $2 con? Yes, correct. And the next one, we have a $1 con. Which one is the correct answer? Yes, and the cons now we left is called sans corn. And we match the face according to their size. As you see, 50, 50 cents is bigger than 10 cents. So this one should match 50 cents. And that is the smaller one. You should put it here to match 10 cents corn. And this will be the last one. Good job. And you can find that all faces here of the cones, you can see a flower. Do you know the name of this flower? Yes, it is called Bauhindia flower. Bauhindia flower. It is represent Hong Kong. So, the first phase we learn are talking about their value 
And the other faces is talking about uh, Hong Kong and show you the flower of Hong Kong. So now we can tell the value and next we have to talk about the characteristic of different cones. So student, can you help me? Miss Polly now want to short the cones into two different groups. So you can put the cones into groups as you like and then you have to tell me the reason. Let's think about it. If you think the cones have the similar things, then you can put them together. Do you have any idea? Aha! Uh -huh. One student showed me the answer like this. She put $2 corn and 20 cents corn in group A. And she put all the corns in group B. Do you know the reason? Do you know the reason why she shot the corns in this way? Yes, let's look at their shapes. As you see in group A, ding ding, $2.20, their shapes is so special. They both have wavy edges, wavy edges. So you can see the shape of them is like up, down, up, down, up, down, up down like this and we call these are uh, wavy edges. So let's look at the result. Oh yes, $2.20 they both have wavy edges so they put them, she put them in group A. And how about group B? They all don't have wavy edges. So let's have a look. These are the corns in group B. We have $10 corn, $5 corn, $1 corn, 50 cents corns, and 10 cents corn. All of them are round in shape. Round in shape. So now I understand the student she shot the cones by their shapes, by their shapes. In group A, in group A, 20 cents corn and $2 corn, they have wavy edges. In group B, the cones are round in shape, round in shape. Good job. Now let's look at the next question. Ah, this time she shot the cones in this way. Can you tell me the reason? Yes, you are so smart. You can see she put all the dollars corns into group A and she put all the cents corn in group B. So now I understand why she sort the corn like this because in group A they are all dollars corns and in group A they are all cents corns. Good job. How about next question? Aha, uh -huh. this time you have to shove the corn in three groups, in three groups. Please have a look. We can think about the color 
we can think about the color. For example, I can see $5 corn and $1 corn, they both have same color. So I will put them together and I can see $2 corn also get the same color with them. So now they are friends, I put them together. And the corns here, 50 cents, 10 cents and 20 cents, they all have same color. So I put them together in group C. And you can see $10 is quite special. It has two, do two colors, so I put them, put it alone in group B. So now, do you know why I sort them in this way? Yes, I sort the cones by their colors. So let us read it together. Golden, golden. Which corn has golden color? Yes, we have 50 cents, 10 cents, and 20 cents. They all have golden color. And which corn has silvery color? Yes. $5 corns, $2 corn, and $1 corn. They all have silvery color. How about $10 corn? Will you put it into this group, golden group? Or you will put it to the silvery group? No, no, no. We have to put it here because it contains two color. It has golden and silvery color. Good job. So now we know how to sort the corns by their colors like this and also sort the corns by their shapes. Good job, student. See you next time. Bye-bye.